In the tarot cards, although it's 78 cards, inside the cards there is a devil card and some of the pictures can be pretty scary depending on how it's drawn. So people will have the misconception that it has to do with some sort of satanic worship, is something evil, something bad. Uh, the readings that we do is really more like, uh, you can say it's almost like human profiling. Think helping you to understand yourself, uh, guiding you and knowing what are the stages in life, what's happening. And at the same time, through the cuts, it helps them to make decisions. My name is Renee Chan. I'm a professional numerologist, tarot instructor. I've been actually in this field since 2001. My name is Paul. I've been uh, doing feng shui and bazi, uh, crystal reading, tarot and numerology. This is OCBC Centre and this is my office, this is where we work, this is where we do our consultation and we are actually on the 46th floor. Yes, we are very legit, we are actually very legit. The moment when you say, hey, I'm a tarot reader, people start to be a bit more wary. Are you a witch? We don't wear like witch's hats or crystal ball, not at all. <laughs> The most popular deck that you see everywhere is called the Rider White. I think the Rider White uh, was created by this guy called Arthur Edward White. And Arthur Edward White actually uh, was part of a society, the Golden Dawn Society. It's not Hazel Hui, uh, it's just a society where all the so-called intellectual, aristocrat, the people who are into uh, philosophy, science, magic, they all get together to study. He is the first one to take tarot cards and give every card a, a, a real picture with a story. Our years of readings has taught us that most of the time it is because of our subconscious mind. So when you pull out the cards, like when you just pull out randomly and you can't see the picture, it is very authentic. You are not biased. When you pick the card, the energy connected to the card, the subconscious mind will be able to connect to whether this card is what you are asking for. And one of the ethical quotes is you do not ask about life and death question like when will I die? Because even if we can forecast and say this will happen, you're gonna scare the person for for, for don't know how many years. Uh, I remember there's one client kind of see me and I want to know this guy whether he really love me. Or the end result I'll say no it's not very good, you know. Mm. The next moment he say okay thank you, I know what to do. Eh? I want to end my life. Mm. Without him uh, I will not able to leave one. You know, of course, a lot of uh, people will maybe want to console her, comfort her, but I know that is useless. We got to explain to her that we are just according to the card. So we believe the mm. outcome sometimes can be changed because due to the decision change. Mm. So that's why even the outcome is no good, we will emphasize more on to the advice. As a reader, we I feel that we got to be very firm right, and right, careful. Right, yeah, responsible. And then responsible. In a way that to help people, sometimes we got to know the right way.